It happened with alarming regularity. Trucks losing brakes, running wild down the treacherous mile-long Freeport Hill. Oh, uh, been 17 different trucks that we've had here. It's just unbelievable that uh, nobody has been killed. Or the way they handled the problem in Catanning, with its notorious Indiana Pike Hill, was this sand pile. And it has paid for itself 34 times, catching 34 runaway trucks. With a busy intersection below and the Allegheny River, who knows how many lives were saved since it was built in 1977. Now they're building one in Freeport. Preliminary work is done. It will be completed in the spring when the weather breaks. The approximate cost is about $164,000, which is relatively a low cost um, for the sand pile and relatively low cost to help save lives. Um, it is 75% federally funded as well and only 25% state. I think now with the new ramp that we're getting, I think it's going to do the job. And I know council and uh, the mayor and all of them worked hard to get it, and I certainly think the two people have helped us out an awful lot uh, with the publicity and everything the last time here, and I think maybe we might have the problem solved. Now, if this were to be a runaway truck, that is the approximate area where he could veer over here and go into the sand pile and stop safely instead of having a serious wreck. What they're going to have to do, obviously, is put a lot of fill dirt in there, some 25 or 30 feet to build it up to the level of the roadway itself. But if all goes well, the work will be completed in late May or early June, and we shouldn't have any more serious accidents here on Freeport Hill. This is Wayne Van Dyne, TV2 Eyewitness News.